The year was 1967. The Beatles topped the Billboard charts. Walmart had a total of 24 stores across the nation. Casino Royale was the number one hit movie. And a giant 23-inch color TV weighing 200 pounds was the hottest merchandise on Black Friday. Everything was groovy. Well, not everything. In fact, there was a problem bigger than the Apollo 1 from NASA trying to reach the moon. Books were disappearing from the shelves of libraries faster than free tickets to the new band, The Rolling Stones. Librarians were at a loss as to how to stop the thefts. They tried everything, from security guards to turnstiles to mean and intimidating looks, but nothing seemed to work. No matter what they did, the thieves continued to steal and the books continued to disappear, leaving empty shelves and unhappy customers. But someone had been observing and studying the library thefts, and he had an idea that was sure to stop the thieves in their tracks. He worked days and nights in his garage and began building an innovative device to save the libraries. And with a little bit of this, a touch of that, a sprinkle of magic, and a lot of hard work, he had it. A security system that alarmed if someone tried to remove a book before checking it out to the library. The librarians had found the solution to their most frustrating problems, at least for now. Their intimidating looks turned into friendly smiles as they focused on welcoming their customers rather than policing them. The year was 1967. The first electronic article surveillance system was born, and the inventor's garage was named Checkpoint. 